Before you start your extraction of DNA, it's very important that you put your safety goggles on. Make sure that you've got all your solutions and apparatus ready. Disinfectant so that you can dip your contaminated swab. Extraction solution to help you extract the DNA. Purple ice cold ethanol. A sterile swab which comes in a plastic pouch. Two droppers and a vial to collect your DNA. Firstly, measure out one milliliter of extraction solution into your vial. Unscrew the lid and using your dropper you want to extract the solution up to the one milliliter level. Squeeze the top of your dropper and insert inside the solution. Release the dropper slowly until the liquid rises to the one milliliter level. Carefully drop the solution into your vial. Place your lid and pop that down somewhere safe. Next you're going to swab the inside of your cheek. Take your sterile swab, remove from the packaging and to gather some cheek cells you're going to rub the swab in the inside of your cheek for about 30 seconds. Now that you've collected your cheek cell sample you're going to dip the swab into your vial. Make sure you give it a good shake around for at least 15 seconds. Dispose of your swab into the disinfectant and this will clear away any germs. Next you're going to measure 2 millilitres of the ice cold purple ethanol and slowly run it down the inside of your vial. Use a fresh syringe to do so, just to prevent contamination. Slowly drop it down the side of your vial and you should see two layers forming. The blue layer is the extraction solution and the ice cold ethanol on top. What you should see rising from the blue layer is strands of DNA from your cheek cells. Before you make your DNA necklace it's very important to make sure that you clear away all of your apparatus carefully and safely as well. Now that you've cleared away your apparatus it's time to make your DNA necklace. For this you need your DNA necklace kit that consists of your necklace rope, silver stopper, a glass vial, a rubber stopper, a clean fresh dropper and your vial of DNA. Once you've completed your DNA necklace, your teacher will apply some super glue to your vial to ensure it remains intact. To make your DNA necklace, remove your strands of DNA from the purple layer of your vial using a fresh clean dropper. Use the same technique to extract the strands of DNA by squeezing the top of the dropper, place it into the purple layer of your solution where you can see the DNA strands. Slowly and carefully extract the purple solution and the DNA strands into your dropper. Place your DNA carefully into your glass vial. Place your rubber stopper on top and now take this to your teacher and he or she will apply some super glue. Once your teacher has applied the super glue and silver cap, you can thread through your strings and wear your DNA necklace.